searching for a damn cab already. Oh well.
about that mud there is digging into it. It's not frozen yet. kind of an issue but I think part of the problem is the ground's not froze so the snowblower digs in and that just spin. I think one more round here and then I'm gonna clean up by that house there a little bit. Probably can make one more round this way too.
still not quite wide enough over here, but... A nasty, uh, a nasty north wind going on. It's very cold. Tire chains did all right. I don't know. They're only going to do you so good anyway, no matter what you do. But she, uh, we didn't get that much, but there's mostly. Most of it was up against the garage and in that drift here. That's really all we got. Everything else I don't have to really deal with. I can leave it. So that's the problem too is the ground's not froze. We ended up uh, ended up getting rain one day. And then it was supposed to switch over to snow. That's what it did. And the skid shoes are set to however John Deere set of them from the factory. I never changed them. Probably will change them at some point. But I noticed that uh, 
right out of the gate it seems okay I was I was digging in a little bit especially there in the dirt but that's to be expected no matter what I think you do and the skid juice has to be somewhat low because I'm not leaving much for snow behind the driveway is always going to leave some just because that's how it's just going to be I don't know why this fell for it, never should have fell, but the winds were so damn nasty last night, it's unbelievable. Some areas got up to uh, 65 miles an hour wind gusts. I think here we topped out about 35. All of yesterday and all of last freaking night. There's another wire that's hanging, but that's for my antenna. I don't know what to do with the extra bit. I can't seem to ever get rid of it. And it won't stay there. Stay there. Oh, you're going to fall again, aren't you? That's what you're going to do. Well, for crying out loud. Yeah, I never had an issue with this cord hanging here before. I don't know why it's being such a biatch today. I never had this type of issue. Oh, well, why don't you all just come down then? All right. Sure. I've never had this fall down before. Even in the high winds, I've never had an issue with it. All of a sudden today, it's an issue. Sure. Sure. And yes, this cord stays out year-round because I actually use this cord. Well, I use it more in the winter time. But... I just leave it out all summer long too because I'm lazy that way. Plus my power source is right there and that's for another job that I do all freaking winter long. So never mind this black pipe, we don't use that for nothing. That's just an extension for the sub pump pump hose. That's this black thing here. We put the extension on when we have a lot of heavy rain and melting going on in the basement, but we, don't, we haven't had that in the last couple of years, so I haven't needed that. So, yeah, I already kind of wish I had a cab, but because that's going to be a problem because most of the winds come out of the north and the west. We rarely ever get anything out of the south or the east. Occasionally we do, but that's once in a blue moon. So. Wind. Yeah, this is the only place. There's only two places in this, on this whole entire property that has any major drifting going on. It's right here where I'm walking. This is my trail to get to the shop. And then where it just blew up along the house there. That all, I've had drifts taller than that blower. Oh hell, even taller than the, the damn tractor itself. Or the garden tractor. So, I've had, I've had to move bigger snow than that. Uh, with the four-wheeler for about 10 years I moved snow with a blade on a four-wheeler it works okay if you're dealing with small stuff like this even that little drifter uh, the four-wheeler could move it but see the problem is this stuff is so wet and there's a blur move it moved it no problem uh, there comes the wind now but when you get the really nasty wind or the nasty snow and you got a lot of snow and it was wet the blade was impossible to, to do anything with that's why I got this outfit now I've had the tractor for 10 years John Deere X724 four wheel steer model I bought the blower about a, a month ago, a month and a half ago, something like that. I don't know. I bought it back in October, but 
John Deere said it might could take up to two months to get it, but that was kind of BS. I got it within a couple of weeks. So I kind of got kind of got pissed off for no reason because they just say that, but it never really happens. It always you always get them a little quicker than you know than to be than expected. So. <clears throat> But that's the first time running that. Uh, the sh I haven't decided yet how I want the deflector, but I think it's fine the way it is because I don't need to blow snow half a mile. Um, I don't have to do that. So the way it is now, I think it's fine. At the farm, if I had to do the farm yard, that would be a different story. You probably would want it up all the way because then you could blow it as far away as possible. Here, it's fine the way it is. And you got to have to keep it in mind of the wind too. So that's why I was always trying to blow the snow. You know, when I was going that way, I was always trying to blow it that way. So the wind would take the snow away. First here is nothing you can really do about it because it's going to hit you no matter what, so <clears throat> you would have to have a cab. So I don't have a cab on this thing yet. I don't even know if I'll put one on or not because who knows how long I'll keep the blower on this on this tractor. I might get a different one maybe in a couple of years or something. I don't know depending on just what I can find out there. but. Probably just the next 748 if I can find one. I'd rather have four-wheel drive more than four-wheel steer. And you really can't steer all that well because there's no weight on the front. I know one guy was complaining about that even on his bigger tractor. He couldn't steer at the front. Well, just pick the blower up a little bit. Just put some weight onto it. It ain't that damn hard. Even with four-wheel steer, I, I, it was hard for me to try to turn uphill a little bit because it just wasn't going to happen. It just never happened. So I picked up the blower a little bit. And once I got pointed in the direction I wanted to go, I put it back in the float. Most of that I didn't float. Um, float, you know, the hydraulics. I put that lift thing in float so it would follow the ground. That's how it dug into the dirt because it was dirt was mushy and soft and that hasn't froze over yet so it's gonna take a little bit longer I think well either way I spend the same amount of freaking time outside moving snow I still think this is better than a blade everybody argues with me and says that a blade is better you ain't dealing with the conditions I'm dealing with then Everybody's going to bitch and moan and complain and be like, oh, a blade's better than a blower, a blower is better than a blade. It, it varies, it, well, it depends on what you're dealing with. So, I'm dealing right now, I'm dealing with wet stuff, but even the four-wheeler could move that, no problem. But, the four-wheeler's getting wore out, I've been moving snow with that for over ten years, that's the thing's getting wore out, so... <clears throat> This is going to do all the blowing this year. I didn't even bring the blade out for the four-wheeler. I didn't even bother. It's still in the shop, tucked away in the corner. So it ain't going to matter. Um, in the dry stuff, a blade would be okay. I think it might even be a little bit better. But even for me, I end up kind of running out of room because a blade you can only stack it so high. With this. You're, I have unlimited space now because I can blow snow on top of snow. You know, I can go 15 feet high with a pile. You know, with this, compared to a blade, I can only go about 4 or 5 feet and then that's it. You know, unless you built a ramp to push snow up on, you know, a snow ramp. I tried doing that a few years ago. It did work. I did build a snow ramp and I was able to push the snow up and over. But it takes a whole year or a whole winter just to even build a freaking ramp. So, for the type of snow I'm dealing with, 
as of what as of what, as of what I did right now, this wins. This takes the cake on that because it took a little bit. I, I, I don't know. It took a little bit longer than a blade would probably take, but. A lot of the times the blade was straight too, so I was basically just pushing it like a bulldozer and just pushing it straight ahead because that's the only way I could get power. Um, you know, so that's the only way I could get pushing power. And then I'd have to ram it. Sometimes I'd I'd run out of pushing power, so then I had to ram it. Well, you know what ramming does? It breaks shit. It wears stuff out. And that's what's nice about a snowblower is you don't have to ram it. You just creep along, let the augers chew at it, and then the blower blows it, you know. I know one guy's uh, he's got a 455 John Deere. He's got a 47 inch blower on his and he was people were giving him crap because he kept ramming piles of snow with a blower. And well it's just unnecessary wear and tear. You, you, I think you would do a better job if you just, you know, did a nice slow crawl, slowly feeding the blower. You know, no matter what, you're always going to get some snow that comes over the blower if you're dealing with a larger mount. It's going to happen regardless. But that's why you go a few feet, you back up, and then you take a second run, and you know, a second round at it. And you pick it back up again so <clears throat> ramming snow with a blower is just unnecessary wear and tear and that thing's brand new and I'm not even going to attempt to try that so the tractor's old the blower is brand new and I don't want to break anything on the blower <laughs> this year you know I would like to keep it you know for many years and not break shit so I don't know what the hell I could use to clean a blower out with. I don't have a small shovel. I mean, it's going to freeze, but I think if we just clean it around the bearings, we'll be all right. So I'll probably run it one more time before I put it away. This snow is going to start freezing, but it's going to get kind of warm again. We're staying one door, one day in the 40s, so that's going to melt some snow. But ah, probably not going to worry about it too much. I think it'll be fine. So. The chute's already dirty already. I've seen some floors where this is all, all the paint's all scraped off. So you can imagine the amount of snow they've moved. So. But. Yeah, I guess it's pretty lit then. So. Just had a drift down there and I had a drift here that had to blow out and I had one in front of the garage door there. Uh, the rest of that, you can't even blow it. There's nothing there to blow. And that's another thing too. At the bitter edge of the driveway, I got a little bit of gravel down there. That's the way it's always been when I moved. It was like that when I moved in here. So, no matter if you use the blade or a blower, I think I'm always going to pick up rocks there until it freezes solid. Because um, I, I have the blade set when I was running the blade on the four-wheeler. I have that set to my liking. Even down there, it was still picking up gravel. And this is and this did it too. So I'm just going to let that. Maybe it, you know, it'll freeze. And then uh, I can go over it a little bit better. So, <clears throat> but that's the first time snow blowing with this setup. 
I've had the tractor for 10 years. The blower I've only had for about a month and a half. It seemed to handle it just fine. Even under a load, it seemed to handle it fine. I had it running at full throttle about 99% of the time. There was a couple times where I had it idled back a little bit because I just didn't need the power. So, I didn't really need the power, so just kind of idled it. Or high idle anyway, half speed. <clears throat> So, that's ice already right there. Holy shit. Try to knock, knock down that damn bee nest again. I guess maybe one of these years I'll remember. But anyways guys, I guess I'm going to take off. That's all I wanted to show you. First blow with the blower. So... Yeah, I guess I'll go put it away and then we'll... Call her... We're supposed to get more snow tomorrow apparently. We're under one to three inches, but... I doubt it. So... Anyways guys, I'm going to take off. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, take her easy.